Musicians love to eat, especially when we're in a place like Taipei. In an audition, it's not like a job with a company. There's no speaking. We need to try to get as much information as possible because we can't have lunch together. We can't even speak to you. We can't do anything. So we're trying to get as much information, just visually how you walk on stage, how you dressed for the audition, how you give the cue. All these things are information to us. I understand everybody gets nervous when they perform, when they audition, but who's able to control their nerves? Honor, there's a lot of pressure. How does that person respond in the spotlight under pressure? A master class is not just private instruction between myself and the player. You have to involve kind of the entire room, everybody there because everybody's learning. I want it to be a fun day, a fun time for everybody. So I might say, stop the masterclass and funny story. And so people can relax and put their pen down and say, just to relax and to laugh together and then go back in and focus on one little thing. So for me, I'm trying very hard to find a few things that will just kind of stimulate their brain, try to give them the tools to teach themselves. Preparation is super important. You have to be like a duck. A duck is swimming on the water and they look so peaceful and calm on the top. But then if you look under the water, their feet are going like this. So that's a concert master. On the outside, you have to look very calm and warm, but inside, <laughs> there's a lot of pressure and um, that's, you have to be like a duck. So it's a lot of preparation and it's trying to make everybody in the orchestra that you come in contact with feel equally important and valued. And also to be a good kind of connection between the conductor and all the members of the orchestra. And that doesn't mean if the conductor says something to me, he says, oh, much less here. I try to read his or her mind, read that mind and then show with my head or my face or the way I sit, or lean back, or forward, or with the bow, all of that non-verbal communication is, that's the concertmaster's language. I've been playing violin so much in my life. For me, it's a lot maintaining physical strength and speed and agility. Our bodies start to break down with age. Things are starting to hurt a little bit with age. And we all experience that. There's nobody can stay away from that. I usually run every day, maybe three or four kilometers per day, and then do some exercises, maybe lifting some weights. And also try to be not just a violin and not just music. I, uh, I love to play golf. I try to spend a little bit of time reading the Bible every day. I'm a Christian, so that is most important to me. I'm trying to fight that off so that I can play the violin well longer.